All right, guys, I think we're live here uh, on YouTube. Had a little bit of errors. And, and again, that's why I quit doing it, the schedule now stuff. For some reason, um, my software and that doesn't really interact very good together. So this is this is the right stream you're in. If you're on this one, we're streaming now. We're good. So uh, could be an interesting night here uh, on the stream. Uh, I want to thank everybody that's been tuning in the last couple nights. We have had basically uh, an unreal amount of people. Oh boy, Adam M. straight up subscribed right off the beginning. I appreciate that, Adam. Uh, we're going to work our way up there to get that 15,000 subscribers. But uh, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So I've got uh, I've got this pulled up right here. I've got Tackle Warehouse pulled up. And so uh, tonight, uh, here in a little while, we're going to do some shopping live on TW. And uh, I'm going to take you guys' suggestions. If you throw any super chats on there, i got to buy whatever bait you tell me to. So uh, I'm going to put a limit. I don't want to spend no $40, $50 on baits. But uh, the more uh, you do the super chat, the more I'll spend on the bait. But you don't have to do that. We're going to take some suggestions. I'm going to fill my card up, and we want to make a huge unboxing uh for this week so good to see you guys in here again thank you guys a lot uh you know last night got off here at 700 uh viewers uh in a little over an hour uh the night before 600 something so really appreciate that and, and thank you guys so much uh for joining in uh tomorrow's labor day hopefully you guys are like me you don't have to work i don't have to work tonight but i gotta go in tomorrow morning so yeah, man, I got this shirt from uh, my buddy Byron over at Missile Baits. I ordered some stuff and got, and this was in there. Um, so I got worm shirt from Missile Baits. Uh, I definitely got worms. I got a lot of crank baits too. So, um, yeah, we're gonna try to get a crazy stream going uh, tonight for sure. What's up, Bass Bank Roberts? Uh, thank you, my friend. So. Yeah, dude, this, that, uh, we're, we're going to get some black label boss uh, in here. So, what if someone tells me to buy Guggen Crane Baits? I will only do that with a Super Chat. I only do that with Super Chat. I might refund them, actually. I'm really, honestly, I'm not really that obsessed with the Guggens. Um, I actually watched a video from one of them today. It went, really wasn't that bad. It was a Parrot video. I actually kind of liked it, but don't tell nobody. That's right. They did have a lot of Troker stuff, uh, Trocar on sale. Uh, I'm not a big laser Trocar fan. It's a huge cutting point. They're super sharp, but they rip such a big hole in the fish. I have I, I lost several fish on the Trocar worm hooks. I heard a rumor that Bateman caught a 10 pounder it was on a show he hasn't posted anything i have not caught a 10 pounder i don't know where you heard that rumor but uh, that would be amazing if i did yeah i actually unsubscribed from lunkers uh he just doesn't post any content i really care about that's nothing bad about him but uh i'm really not into guns and sniper shooting and stuff like that so um I, I like my fishing subs to be fishing, so you can look at most of my subscriptions. Uh, I think it lists them all uh, on my channel somehow. And uh, some of them I don't even watch. I'm pretty sure, yeah, today this one about people who talk a bunch of poop. So uh, I just like, you know what, I just unsubscribe. But anyway. We'll let a few more people get it get in here, I guess, for about five minutes, and then we're going to get on uh, with the TW stuff. Yeah, uh, I definitely want to pick up a couple of Black Label uh, Peanuts. Uh, they got another new bait that come out as well. It's just not on Tackle Warehouse yet. So, Thunder Cricket for four dollars is a freaking steal, uh, Chris. That's a really good price. I mean, you can't buy them like that. When's the six 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 cent swim cranks coming back? I would say pretty soon. Again, everybody's having problems that gets their stuff overseas. It's not a six cents issue. It's a manufacturing issue for everybody. Oh, Tom Milks for five dollars. Make you holla. 
we're gonna find a bait. All right, Tom. Look at here. I fixed it. We got Randy Moss straight bass, homie. Just popped up over there. So all right, let's get over on Tackle Warehouse. Um, I'll switch the view here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. All right, I'm gonna pull up my phone so I can read the chat as well. Because when I'm in this view, I can't really read the chat. If that makes a difference. Uh, I better mute my phone as well. All right. All right, Tom, your pick. Uh, let's see. What do you want on Tackle Warehouse for $5? Make you holla. Uh, we got uh, soft baits, hard baits. Let's go here, Tom. What's your choice? Or... This is how I like to do. I like to go over on Tackle Warehouse, and uh, where's the new the new stuff? I like to click new. I like to go new items, and then I like to go through here because I know I'm probably not going to have any of this stuff. All right, for five bucks, what can we find here on the new items? Uh, let's see, Tom. I'm looking for looking for your suggestion, bud. Let's see. Do crawls and crew. Here's here. This might be pretty good from a Ned rigging guys. Right here, five dollars. Make you holler. All kinds of stuff in here. What's up, Sean Myers? Let's see. We have got. I don't. I don't have these. Uh, the new Z-Man Goat Twin Tail Grub. So let's check this thing out here. Um. The only thing in stock is the baby goat, so that is kind of like the Z-Man version of a um, Z-Crawl slash um, Rage Miss uh, for the Ned, so I don't know. He wants soft plastic, so we got the baby goat. Oh, ooh, look at the new... Uh, we got the Magnum UV Speed Crawl. A lot of guys have been asking on that. Um, Body Burn says Baby Goat. I think I think we're gonna try the Baby Goat. That seems like it'd be a really good Ned bait. That's new. Don't have that. Boom. We put it up in the cart and saved that 15%. So it was. What was the price on that thing? Four ninety nine, so we save seventy cents. So, yep, Z Man Minute Scrub. So, all right, we got the cart started. You know what? I think I'm gonna add something to the cart. A lot of guys have really been asking, uh, "Hey man, you need to get that uh, Magnum Speed Crawl." Uh, so, if you don't know what the Speed Crawl is, it's a great bait here. Um, I've got a ton of regular size Speed Crawls, but uh, I think we need to throw in the Magnum. Uh, let's see. They got several colors available here. You guys help me pick out a color. We're going black and red, green pumpkin, watermelon red. Blue sapphire is pretty good, too. Um, blue sapphire is pretty good. Um, I would say I probably would use watermelon candy and green pumpkin magic the most. I do like a blue one, too. I do like a blue that Magnum Speed Crow is the deal. What's up, St. Caress? Good to see you in here, bud. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to go... Uh, I know Epic Eric will go June Bug, so... I'm going to go Watermelon Candy. I feel that's very versatile. I can use it on a lot of different stuff. Uh, so let's add that to cart. $3.73. Uh, that's a great price. Great price. So... What else do we got new here on Tackle Warehouse? Uh, let me get back in here. Get back to originally where we're going. All right. See, this is how I, I like to roll feature new items. Sean Myers with a five dollar make you holler. Appreciate that, Sean. Um, your turn to pick a bait. Um, you definitely, if you make a super chat, uh, you get preference tonight. I'm going to pick some stuff out myself. Uh, but if you do the super chat, I'm going to buy what you tell me to. Um, and I'll be honest, uh, the $5 make you holler, 
uh, I'll put a limit. I won't spend more than 20 bucks on a $5 dono. Um, so now if someone drops a $50, I might just buy a straight up reel on here. Yeah, dude, I love the dill color on the goat. I, I'll just, and then watermelon candy is very versatile. You can do a lot of stuff. Yeah, dual apex crank is sick, man. I got a couple in. Um, if you hadn't seen Bayou Burner, matter of fact, let me swap back to this other view real quick while you guys think of a bait um, for TW. Bayou Burner didn't see. Here is the duo Apex Crank. Sean Meyer says big worms. All right, we go. We can do some big worming. You know me, I like a big worm. So does my wife. Just kidding, but I, I do got worms. But here, Bio Burner. Here's that duo Apex Crank. Really sweet little bait, man. Uh, this is, uh, I believe they call this Morning Dawn, man. Very good looking. A very good shad profile. I think the smallmouth would smash that. One thing I meant to mention, guys, these hooks are super, super sharp on these duo apex uh, cranks really like that so all right let's get into some big worms sean z i don't know man uh i would love to get uh get get anything as long as it's uh not like an ardent rattle can or something i have not bought any rex caleb I, I that's something i'm gonna go for so all right so let's go to the big worms so baits uh let's see soft baits worms we got curly tail worms i wish it would be like big worms finesse worms good lord there's a lot of finesse worms ned rig baits that's not going paddle tail worms straight tail worms i wish it just said big worms Wacky worms. Wow. All right, uh, let's see here. Curly tail worm. Sean, where's that money at people coming? Sean, you got to... Uh... Dude, I do remember we had $400 donos in a row I about passed up. Uh, you know, well, I'm just messing around. You don't have to send a super chat because I'm going to load this thing up regardless. But... Um... Let's see. What do we got here, Sean? Something I don't have. Whoa, whoa. Nathan Pierce. Let's get into the boss. Uh, $15. Make you holla. Yes, sir. Let's get to 15,000 uh, subs. So, all right. Uh, I got to get uh, uh, something I don't have here. Sean Z says get a new reel. $5. I think, we'll, I think we may do that. So, all right. Let me look at these worms here. I don't have... Uh, Oh, let me let me back up here. I gotta put it on the right screen. So we have two don'ts. Let's see, the Magwag Kitek. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I don't have that, and that is one I've been trying to get. So I'll just search for it. Mag Madwag Longworm. I don't have this one. This is gonna be a good one. Uh, very simple for me what color I'm fixing to get. Got to get plum. Uh, we'll go, go we'll go with the 11 inch one. We won't get a big one. So, uh, boom, added to cart. Somebody, uh, now we have got, whoa, Sean Z, get a new rail. $50, make you holla. It's going to happen. All right, let's get this balsa. Uh, we're going to go over here to the rack and we'll type it in. All right. Black label balsa, cliff paste, rack, square bill, crankbait. Uh, ooh, so many good colors in here. Um, uh, man, it's, it's kind of the fall. I'm thinking maybe electric shad, chartreuse magic. I think I'm going to go with the River Brim. That's just a classic one. Really good looking bait right there. All right. You put that in here. You, 
you spend over 150 on TW, you get a free t-shirt, and you can buy a $5 sweatshirt or a hat. We're going to make it happen. Biggest donation ever, uh, Caleb Morgan. I had back-to-back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back $100 donations. It was about this time last year. I might have actually been on a cell phone. I can't remember. And it was amazing. So we got we got us a wreck here. Uh, let's see if it put a discount on that. We'll check our cart. It usually will tell you when you proceed to cart. Yes, sir, 1444. All right, somebody dropped a $50 dono. So we're going to go over here to the casting reels. All right, uh, Sean, you dropped a dono, so you tell me what category we're going to go with. Uh, 13 Fishing, Abu, Ardent, Dial with Duck at Cast King, Halo, Shimano. Um, I'm going to let you take a pick, bud. Yeah, St. Chris, it was absolutely uh, crazy uh, when that happened. I'm going to set my phone up here um, so I can read. Whoop. All right, Sean says you pick. So, all right. Let's take a look here. Uh, I think I might go Shimano. Let's see what we got. I got an SLX. I got an SLX. Oh, there's a SLX MGL70. MGX70. Let's check this guy out real quick. See if it's even in stock. No, not till October 5th. That probably would have been my first choice. Um, I want to try to keep it a nice budget friendly um, price. I've got a regular SLX. Let's see what dial was got over in that area. Let's see. Ooh, here's a, a dial with CA80. It's got it's an orange reel. Um, let's see. Uh, I've got dial with Shimano. Uh, let's see. CR80. Where's the tattoos, man? Where's the tattoos? You know what I don't have is a tattoo of 100. Wow. I think I'm skipping over everything over here. See if the new CTs are in stock yet. Probably not. No. Oh, like hell. I love the SV, man. I love the SV. All right, here we go. I think I can make this work here. Uh, Tatula 100. I don't have one. Uh, gear ratio. Uh, let's go with the 7. So we're going to make sure that's right-handed. Add it to cart. Uh, let's see. Let's see what it says on the checkout here. I'm going to proceed to checkout. See if they gave me 15% off that thing. They did not. That's okay. It's okay. So, back to chat. Uh, I've got a Tatula CT and I've got a SV. Uh, so, I decided to get the, the 100. So, I went ahead and dropped that. Ryder Corals, I hate this video. Wow, bud. I'm sorry. Yeah, Monty, the other stream was locked up. I don't know what was going on. For some reason, it wouldn't drop, drop in there. Uh, whoa. Sean Z ordered a SLX and got a discount. Maybe I should have got the SLX DC, but I got one SLX. So uh, I think for the money that TAT 100 should be a good reel. Um, seven to one, I can use a lot of different things on that. I'm not sure where a hell of bass is. Yeah, so a lot of times like Shimano, Dial with some of that stuff, it, it won't show the discount until you actually purchase, purchase it, which that's no big deal. Uh, to me, uh, we'll get it taken care of. So thanks again um, for that fifty dollar make you holla, and um, the fifteen dollar. The Googans are streaming at the Blue Oyster. Wow, I don't know what the Blue Oyster is, but anyway. 
Uh, I think you'll get it when you check out Bateman. I bought SLX DC and the discount didn't show up until I paid for it. Awesome. So, ooh, there's a good idea. There's one. Uh, get a new jointed jitterbug. Let's check that out. Focus on the fall baits. I'd like to do that. So, I do like that jointed jitterbug. Let's let's do some fall bait shopping um, while we're at it. I want to go back to uh, the black label. And, um, you know, I like me some balsa baits. And here's one that uh, I really want. And this is the the, the Cliff Pace Peanut. So this is kind of like the uh, Zoom WEC. Uh, I'm going to be real honest. That looks really good. Chartreuse Magic. Um, ooh, Pearl Threadfin. That one looks good. Uh, Gizzard Shad Foil. Ooh, I like that. Let, let's throw that Gizzard Shad Foil in there. I like that one. So we've got two black labels worth to 200 bucks, boys. Uh, here we go. Let's roll right in here. Swim baits. Is the tackle chatterbait wake bait thing any good? Rider corals. I'm sorry. I'm just doing this for a YouTube video. What kind of video are you doing there, Rider? Uh, let's see. Baby just got the jointed jitterbug. It is small. Body's two inch. Ooh. Okay. So let's uh, go over the swim baits. I'll, I'm going to show you bait that I. Uh, let's see. Where's my? I know what I want. Check this out. Where's that daggum rat? I found. A twenty-dollar rat. Uh, I wish I could get an NZ rat. Oh man! I wanted to go all the way back to the beginning because I forgot the name of it. New items, new swim baits. It's not in here. Maybe it's in top order. Check this thing out. I looked at this the other day. Look at this. This is the Gets It Dying Shad. How cool does this thing look like? Yes, that's it, Joe the Clay Rat. That's the one I want. And I have not tried Spro's new lipless crankbait. That's a great fall suggestion, Bank Bass Robber. So uh, I'm going to go. I like this little Gets It thing. This looks cool. I could see an idea. I could see where this would work. Let's see what this is. A quarter ounce. That's not heavy enough for me. I need something heavier than that. Um, oh, great. Tackle Warehouse is down. That's always stuff. Well, this is really a... This is the Clayt. They got three. They got the Volt. But this is the one I want. The Muskrat. It says Baby Muskrat. Wake Bait. Uh, let's read more on this. What size? Ooh, three inch total length. I need something bigger than three inches. This might be it. The Vol. Four inch body, eight inch total. I like this thing. Uh, I'm gonna keep it real simple here. I'm gonna get me a little bone one. Give me a little bone, a little cheap little rat here. St. Crest, this is towards the Tatula. Enjoy it. St. Crest, thank you so much for the $50. Make you holla. Uh, I appreciate it. I feel like I should get two reels now. Monty Mac, $25. Make you holla. Appreciate it, Monty Mac. Monty, tell me what to buy. Do I need to get me a swim bait? You tell me what, what I need to get, bud. Actually, Monty Mac, if you told me to buy anything, I'd buy it anyway, so... What's up, Chuck? I'm doing good, bud. How about you? We're just streaming up here shopping on Tackle Warehouse tonight. Um, ooh, longest baits. All right, we'll search for longest baits on here. Wow. So this is some unique stuff. Got some stuff I'll close out. Which one do I need to check out, bud? The longest... Huh. 
that's kind of cool Big man in search for them. Thanks, Zach. I appreciate you joining in, man. We're just trying to do something different. Uh, I do got some Kitech uh, micro jigs, but uh, I got plenty of swim baits from Six Cents. So I, I really don't order any Six Cents on Tackle Warehouse, uh, Simon. But uh, um, let's see here. Fluke style bait. All right. Uh, Oh, the smallest version of the Inox. I want the big. I want big. I don't want small. So I guess this is right here. This looks pretty cool. Uh, you guys see this? It's got like a jointed tail blade. Huh. Alright. I see you there. Uh, I like this color. I kind of like that green back on that. A little IU. I'm either going to be disappointed or I'm not. I'm going to go with this color right here. Uh, that looks really cool. Added it at cart. All right. Let's go back home here. And see. Get some big TRDs. I do have some big TRDs. I'm trying to get stuff I don't have. Uh, Monty Mac, he sent me $25. Make you holla. Uh, let's see if we got something something new here uh, in that $25 range. Uh, new crankbaits. I like some new crankbaits. Mega Bass Big M. I'm, I'll be honest, guys. I'm not a big Big M Mega Bass fan. Uh huh. Oh, let's go new top water. Guy having some top water baits for the fall. So this is a cool bait. Uh, I've never. Uh, this is the Freedom Tackle Mischief Minnow. Uh, check this thing out. It's got this little blade down here. Good idea. Yeah, let's 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 grab one. Man, they're, all the seven inch ones are out of stock except for Ghost of White. Oh man. Oh man. I did get a black label fresh set. Order a new rod for that reel. That's a good idea. Order a new rod for the reel. Well, I wonder if. Well, let's see what kind of rod can we get in here. Uh, one I don't have. Somebody said a halo. The problem is I I I, I don't want my rod broken. And I'm really picky. I'm I got a budget. I won't don't want to go over either. But uh, let's see. Uh, halo Scott fishing Canterbury rod. Let's see. Bradley Nicholson, ten dollar make you holler. All right, I kind of want to stick to my original. I did make uh, something special for the real Saint Caress and Sh uh, Sean. I appreciated you uh, guys helping me out. We, we did the Tatula one hundred. I, I don't want to do rods because I can. All of a sudden, we may end up like a thousand dollar order. So um, anyway, guy get a twenty five dollar item uh, here. Um, new items, new top water. I want to get something I don't have. Here's one. Uh, I've been interested in this. It kind of looks like a shower blow. They're out of bone, of course. Uh, I like this. I like that prism shad. Let's throw that in the cart. Monty Mac, that cool with you? Like that Yozuri topwater? The Hickster. That's a good one, Rich. We'll look at that. Um, Seventeen bucks. That should cover money, Max. Uh, you know what, man? If I'm gonna go in on one of these, man, gotta have me some crawl patterns. I'm gonna go with that spring crawl.
All right. Now we had another ten dollar make you holla. Uh, that is from Bradley Nicholson. Appreciate that ten bucks, Bradley. What is your pick? What should I grab for ten bucks? Uh, tackle warehouse because I'm getting so I'm getting so many comments in here. I want to make sure I get you taken care of, Bradley. I really wish my wife would come up here and bring me something to drink. We got 205 people in here, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we will s smash the like button uh, for me. Uh, we've been getting a lot, so. thousand dollar order sounds like me once a week get whatever you need the problem is money i really don't need a whole lot and i'll guarantee you neither do you but we get on here and we get addicted to buying the tackle that's just how it is just how it is big man do you know i do not own a mega bass sonic side uh i'm trying to see if bradley requested a, a bait that would be a good one to add up in here Bradley said he would cover the tax. I appreciate that, Bradley. So that's what the ten dollars is for. Big man, should we PayPal friends and family so you don't lose thirty percent? I really don't care. Uh, the way I look at it, YouTube is a business, and they got to make some money somehow. So uh, I've never complained about the missing thirty percent. I don't even know if it works like that. So we're good on that. Uh, you know what make, means a lot to me more than a donation is guys that join in every week or every day and want to jump on the chat and want to interact and we all help each other become better fishermen. That is worth more than 30% to me. And uh, I, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, YouTube, I've made some great friends. Monty Mac uh, is my buddy. I don't talk to him really on the cell phone. I talk to him on here, but I consider him a great friend. And uh, if he ever needed anything, I'd be there. So I think... Uh, I've made a lot of cool friends through all this stuff. So Scott Bateman, uh, Scott's last name is Bateman. Sean Z, Mega Bass Flatside. Now we're talking um, Sonic. Let's see. All right, Sean, you pick the color. They got a good stock. They're probably not going to give me a discount on that, but that's okay. You pick the color, Sean. What color you want? Ooh, that's a good one, Eliminathan, the Uo's jig. So, what's up, Del Delta Maverick, Fat Bass? My wife just got here. I'm fixing to get me a drink. So, <laughs> Kevin Morgan, that is a great idea. Dude, dude wipes. All right, Sean, pick, pick me out a color. Uh, I'll be honest. I like the Mega Bass Gizzard, man. It just... That's a good looking color for the fall. Maybe the Ghost Shiner. I want I want Sean Sean to pick my color out. Green Craw is money. All right, we'll go with it. Take your suggestion there, Sean. Added to cart. All right, uh, let's see. Scott Bateman, Scott, what is your suggestion, bud? Man, that uh, the straight bass homie hangs up there quite a bit, which is good. I finally got that stuff working right. So I'm wait. I'm just waiting on Sean to give me a suggestion real quick. Andrew, yes, uh, I'm I'm not a big fan of Smash Tech, I, but I might throw it in there. Let me make sure all my super chat guys are taken care of before I decide to go really crazy. Got to get a rattle trap in there. Well, here's the deal. I'm trying to get stuff I don't have. I've got plenty of rattle traps. Uh, trust me, Omega Bass Fishing. Uh, I don't have anything with anybody's suggestions so far. So uh, we want a ten dollar. We got a ten dollar dono. So uh, let's see. I tell you what. That guy said Smash Tech. I'll look him up. See if we got something for ten dollars in Smash Tech. Well, uh, I'm... well, if I could learn to spell. Alright, 
smash tech, soft jerk baits, gizzards, an error occurred. Okay. Okay. Baits. Swim baits. Paddle tail swim baits. A jackal grinch is not a paddle tail. Sorry, tackle warehouse. All right, smash tech. Hollow body swim baits. Man, they look just like a shadowlicious. Just like a shadowlicious. Ooh, root beer, root beer rogue for the fall. All right. I will not buy a Buka BD Shad. Absolutely not happy. Dude, Phoenix 6 foot 10 casting rod clearance for 189. Ooh. You know what? That's a good idea. What rod is that? Let's look at look at her up here on the Phoenix casting rods. Here's one a lot of guys have been asking me uh, to grab. Is a Phoenix Feather. Hmm. Tell you what. Who are you here? We'll think about it. Let's see if it's got any discount. Did discount the Phoenix Feather. And did discount that. I'm gonna keep that out for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove remove the Phoenix. I just wanna see if it worked. Yeah. Was... Alright, I gotta get back on track here, so I do really need to get a Phoenix rod, though. A lot of people have asked me to grab that, so... Uh, chat's going crazy, so i got to catch back up. Uh, Sycamore Outdoors wants that root beer rogue. All right, dude. I bet that's going to be a uh, three hooker. Um, let's see if they got a root beer one, one in here. Great, great, ooh, not here. Smithwick suspending Rattling Rogue. Wow, I don't even see a root beer. Huh. It's hotter than Hades tonight in the bait room. The perfect 10. I don't need a 10 foot diver. That's for sure. Uh, Elite 8. I don't know. I do not see a root beer rattling rogue on here. Unless it's the floating rogue. Wow. That, hear that one, a uh, custom painted one, Sycamore Outdoors? I'm sorry I'm falling really behind, so. Brown and tan. Yeah, uh, we're going to do an unboxing of everything I, I get on here. Uh, I would rather have baits uh, than rods and reels, but, you know, I, I do need some reels. I've got way too many rods as it is, so. I tell you what, man, I can't find a root beer on here. But you know what I can? I can find something really close. I've got plenty of chartreuse. Uh, and purple stuff. Just FYI. Ooh, that looks good. Threadfin Shad. And we got a lot of these emerald shiners that's got a brown back. There we go. That's really close right there, Sycamore. Lapple. Okay. Alright, Scott Robark. Hopefully I pronounce your name. Scott, thank you for that $15 make you holler um what 
Let's, uh, there we go. Somebody suggested, he said your choice. Somebody suggested, um, the, uh, Gold Rogue is root beer. Okay. Let's see here. I'm just going to go down here. That one is root beer. Hmm. How much are these? 749. I think I got one of these somewhere. Hot chocolate. That looks good. That looks good. So, ten dollars or fifteen dollars, my choice. Uh, I'm trying to think of something I don't have. Um, somebody suggested the new Aaron Martin spinnerbait from Picasso. Let's see if they got it in stock. The Aaron Martin's hog snatcher buzz bait looks good. I bet I have to. I don't know if there is a new uh, spinner bait, but I do like that buzz bait. They're not in stock though, not in stock. So, all right, I got Booyah cover spinner baits, Tyler. Matter of fact, I got like five of them in Academy for five ninety nine. So. How about the Mickey Vault Blade Bait for the Late Fall Black Hollow? Yeah. I, thank you, Donald Trump, for my stimulus. That's all I got to say. So, Ooh, there you go. I'm trying to find... There we go, the Jackal Gargle. I do not have one of those. Ooh, they got some in stock. Uh... Let's just straight up get something simple. Um, black back chartreuse. Oh, that looks good enough to me. They'll eat that thing. I'm going to get crazy on the color. Add the cart. There we go. New jackal buzz bait. Y'all know I love me some buzz baits. All right. Picasso Hog Snatcher Spinner Bait. Let's look up Hog Snatcher. Oh, here it is. God dang, that's expensive, but I mean, we'll try. That's a good looking color there. The Big Sexy. Let's look at the Big Sexy. I kind of really like the looks of that. They don't have a lot in stock. Double Willow, Gold. I like to get pretty plain in the fall. Gizzard Shad. Let's see what Gizzard Shad looks like. Not a lot of options there. I like a half ounce. I'm going to go... Woo! Which one should I go? I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with that Big Sexy. Uh, Double Willow, Gold, Nickel, Nickel, Gold. Yeah, let's go with Big Sexy. We'll go a half ounce. We'll throw that in there. We're getting up to a pretty good sized cart. All right. I have got to go fix a drink. Hold on, I'm going to swap on over to full screen. Wow, we got about a $300 cart right now. Rick Bartz, I do throw one ounce spinner baits. I sure do, uh, especially out deep. Um, I like. Uh, I, I, I like the Odom's one ounce. I like this uh, mini me stuff like that. So, all right, I'm fixing to go get fix me a little drink in just a second. Greenfish balsa. Okay, uh, I'd like to try a greenfish balsa uh, crank out. Um, I do know that TW has some more OSP stuff, uh, and it is discounted, by the way. So if you want to get in some OSP lures, you get on Tackle Warehouse. It is discounted. Give me just one second. I'm going to send Bateman Jr. in here and I'm going to fix me a drink.
Wait, should we back that up? Ooh, I like this. Alright. So this. Okay. I really like this bait. First of all, I really like the colors. I like the um. This thing. Um. Okay. Ooh. I was going to show him that bait right there. Okay, make sure you shut that door. Okay. Go down. Well, make sure. I got a special guest. I got a special guest, guys. Coming in here. And she's dressed to kill. You come up here. Y'all check y'all check out Bait Girl. Say hi. You say hi. Stand up and show them your outfit. You don't you don't want to see nobody? You got popsicle on your face. Oh man. I would love I would put a Roman man in here. So alright, uh, let's see. Decoy bladed weights. I gotta get caught up. All right. Since you guys have done some picking, I believe, dude, Bateman Junior is will definitely bait. You want buy? You want to get some baits? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of baits you want? I want a purple. You want a purple bait? All right. I guess Daddy will get you a purple bait. Hmm. Let's see. We'll just search purple and see what comes up. Alright, what do you see up there? Do you like any of those baits? Mm -hmm. Point to it. Point to a purple bait. Purple bait. Oh, which ones do you like? I don't really like 13 fishing. We're probably going to skip out of that. Uh, I saw one. You saw one? What kind of bait do you want to... Uh, uh, a plastic bait or a crank bait, spinner bait. What do you want? I want a spinner bait. You want a purple spinner bait? All right, there we go. Good choice there. Bait. Let me swap over here. Neely wants a purple spinner bait. So let's see what we got over in the spinner. Oh, oh, looky here. Mm. I got shook. Huh? I just got choked from the You didn't get choked. No, I didn't. No. Alright, uh, let's see. Wow, look at all these spinner baits, Neely. What? Look. Ooh. You better pick one out. I want the white one. You want the white one now? I thought you wanted a purple one. Whoa. Look at well, this. Well, we had them. Well, I had popsicle, but it has Oh. All right, guys. Let's get a, another suggestion for spinner bait. I got spot stickers. Uh, Flatlands flash fin. Never heard of that. Dude, she loves popsicles. Do you love popsicles? Yeah. Dude, Bateman is back three night in a row. We got 363 <laughs> viewers in here. Holy cow. I'm not throwing a Bagley flat boss of bee, so uh, Neely wants a purple spinner bait. You want a purple spinner bait, huh? Yeah. Ooh. I'm looking for something different I don't have in here. Hmm. Uh, that looks cool. Anybody ever thrown this? No purple. Yeah, I didn't see no purple. I just saw purple. You just saw purple. Where? <laughs> oh, let's see. I know what I would normally get. Ah, <laughs> oh, here's one a lot of guys have been asking, telling me about the River to Sea bling. Oh man, that looks good, Neely. 
What happened? Hmm? Hey, what about that one? Do you like that one? Mommy. You want mommy? She's inside. Okay. Do you see one you like, Neely? Mm, yeah. Which one? You pick it out. I want the, that one. Which, one, which that. one's that one? This one? Yeah. You want the... I know it? That one the baby ones. Huh? Okay. But Neely it, says she wants uh, the I know it. Uh, there Daddy, we go. This is no high hook. Whoa. Caleb Morgan, $25 make you holla. Appreciate it. We had a box, though. We had a right. box. Hey, we would love a drink. Revenge Brace has a purple. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta... Uh. I got it in a I was in a big show. I know I'm getting a big show before. You've you never been on a bait show before? Uh, think... Wait, but that's baby ones. Huh? And the baby ones. Yeah. And the baby ones. Alright. Jackal DD Squirrel. Is anybody open this? There you go. Okay, you gave me way too open. much money there, Caleb. Um, okay. Oh. Why is it open? Uh, yeah. Dad, you want this open? Absolutely. Purple chartreuse. Daddy Hello. Was, Daddy, was open? Bubby opened that. Oh. He was showing people. Daddy, that's how the weird hooks. Dad down, Chris, four hundred dollar T W order. Yeah, we gotta put it in, in the box so you don't get hooked on it, okay? Yeah. You know what we really need and guys? One, I buy my we need one. some bait storage. Yes. Yeah. Exit Mark hey, Dove, pink hey. and purple. So believe it or not, AJ, I designed that color for uh, Accent. Uh, it's called uh, it's Purple Crush. Daddy, this page is... Yeah. That page is not going to open. I've got an Accent. That's uh, close. Uh, that was the bigger bait. All right. Uh, Daddy, what are all those bait? Neely. Neely is in my ear. I'm trying to read the chats. What's up, girl? Look at that one. Yeah, I know there's all kinds of baits over there. Mm. All right. We had giant I don't even box. know where I'm at. I'm just, mm. my mind's we going had five minutes. We a giant box. Yeah, my mind's going five I million got, directions. I, I do not have a mega bass gong and gong gear, so. All right, uh, woo, woo. Sean Myers, five dollar make you holler. Appreciate it, Sean. Uh, let's let's find something for five bucks. Daddy, we dropped this bait. Yeah. Did you drop it? No. I feel like I feel like mom did. Yeah. I feel like I'm way behind on here somewhere. I'm in the hiding lot somewhere. I'm, I'm, believe it or not, guys, I'm getting a little rattled and nervous now that I got Bait Girl cool. in here. This one's cool. Because I'm trying to listen to her and read the chat. Listen to her like Mommy does. All right. I gotta go fucking slide. I'm gonna go fucking slide. That's a good bait. I haven't tried. Okay, I'm gonna go back inside. Go back inside, Neely. I'm cool with that. All right, Tickle Blade Walker. That's one I have not got yet. Uh, someone said June Bug. I don't know about June Bug, but I'm going to use it for a wake bait. Uh, let's go with the Silver Shiner. I like that one. Boom. It's something new. Don't have. Uh, let's see. Sean Myers, $4.99. I've got an idea. Four ninety nine. Let's see. Let's go back on the new stuff. New items. Uh, I'm gonna go back to new top water. I did the Yozuri. No, it's 
not it. New rip baits? This is a really good looking uh, bait. And I want to... Uh, this is the Yozuri 110. Okay? And uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, or it's very similar to a Mega Bass. Kind of got that Provoke look. But they got some really good paint jobs. And yeah. You see what I'm looking at here? I really like this Natural Tennessee Shad. Let's grab one in Table Rock Shad. We got to. Boom. We got a cart going. So let's see what we got in the cart so far. This is what we got in the cart. Some Z-Man Goat. Baby Grubs. Mags Speed Craw. Mad Wag Long Worm. Black Label Rack. A Tatula 100. Uh, black label gizzard shad, clay bait rat, a long ass bait, soft jerk bait, Yozuri 3DB pencil popper, black label hickster, mega bass sonic side, smithwick rattling rogue, a jackal gargle, a hog snatcher spinner bait, a river to sea bling, a jackal DD, uh, tackle blade walker, and Yozuri 3DB. Whoa. Uh, okay, what else do you guys suggest? Let's, uh, oh, Gee Crack. Somebody just put that up there. Gee Crack, that's a good one. Let's see what we got from Gee Crack in here. Wow. Wow. Uh, maybe I have Crash Tackle Warehouse. So I used to have, I I had a Gee Crack Gilling 125 and I gave it to Mike, Mikey Balls uh, when I sent him the Shizzard. And I hope he likes it because I had Here's something, yes. Uh, it's been a while since these things have been in stock. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab a co grab a color of these. Uh, these things look really cool. Uh, they don't have a lot of colors, so I better grab some. Uh, they got a three eight, a two eight, and a five eight. That gun, they're about out of everything. So I might as well grab one in the bug bomb. Gonna add that to cart. And then this is another bait that's really nasty uh, from Gee Crack, and that's the Bella Stick Worm. They got green pumpkin chartreuse. Man, they're out of so many sizes. So many sizes. There we go. That's that'll work right there. The Muddy Gill. That's kind of a, a brown green pumpkin mix. All right, what do we think about that? All right. You need a decent square bill for fall and some finesse worms. Yeah, the last uh, order, Monty Mac, I've totally forgot about the free t-shirt. My order is $149.70, and I forgot about the free t-shirt. I'm, for real, I, I'm just not a big June Bug fan, but I love black. All right, I've got KVD 2.5s and all that stuff. I'm trying to get stuff I do not have. I've got Evergreen flat for Ooh, my top spinner. Great, great suggestion. Great suggestion. Shout out to my boys, Matt and Tim. I don't have one yet, and they got them in stock. Got them in stock. See what color is gonna. I'm gonna go straight up Ghost Minnow. Great suggestion right there. Boom.
Where did you get the I got worms? That was uh, from missile uh, missile base. Jackal rearrange. That's uh, well, I'm that's more of a fast moving jerk bait to me. Um, I wouldn't use it in the winter, but it'd be a great one in the fall. Uh, the one ten MR. They are in stock. They are in stock. That's the one right there. That's the one. Matter of fact. I want the shallow one. 110 or 130. I want the big guy. All right, got that rearrange up in there. Dude, I've, somebody has been commenting the Buckeye Finesse Jig for like 50 times, so let me check that in, out. Holy cow. I'm not a big fan of their stuff, but Buckeye flat top finesse jig. All right, let's look at this. Oh, you know, quarter ounce, three eighths. I don't have many small jigs like this, but what's the price on this thing? Three seventy nine? Is it one or two? All right. Uh, how? Sh okay. The Mickey Vault uh, blade bait. I, I got to go back to comments. Uh, I'm getting confused really bad. Mm. All right. Got some S crank Sean Z. It's a really good square bill. I like it. Uh, the Mickey Vault blade bait. That's a good one. Uh, Rapala V blade. I don't have that. Um, so some dude. Ooh, I actually kind of like his color here a little bit. We're getting bait. We're gonna let Bateman Junior pick some stuff out. Are you coming back in here? Okay. Mmm. Apples are good. And this nigga had my apples and they're that those creeps. Okay. I want the purple one. No, the one that is a shaky head with a hand tied skirt. Okay. Uh, let me look on here. This right here, the spot remover finesse jig. Okay. That's interesting. Interesting. You know what? I might try one of those out. Um, just keep it slim, simple. I'll get a green pumpkin one. I got green pumpkin. My green pumpkin. Okay. All right. My budget was like four hundred bucks, so we're getting close. Uh. Donald Trump stimulated me, so I'm going to be okay. I had a baby. But really, what's going to happen is when I get that YouTube check in, the guys throwing the donos, y'all helped out. And yeah, uh, yeah. I would like a lot of the guys to send me their email so we can send a thank you card out. So, um, Jackal Derricoop Tail Spinner. Eagle Talon Billy Mac. Man, there's so many jigs I could load this thing up. So, okay. Are you going out? Nope. Ooh, Neely, you need to stay put. You're going to get hurt in here. Yeah. This is not a playroom. Dad's coming out. So you're going to have to stay put or go inside. Okay. Alright. Uh, blow on Roman Man, I wish. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to add, 
let's go back to the new stuff because that's the stuff I, I like. I like the new stuff, new items. What's the blue one? Guys, I know what we need. I know what we need. Yeah. I know what we need, and you know it. Oh, and they're all freaking out of stock. All out of, look at here, Big Shad is out of stock. Good gracious. But, the Root Beer Chartreuse is not. I'll get to grab a DT6. Uh, we'll grab a DT10 and Citrus Shad. And we'll grab a DT6 and Green Gizzard Shad. And you know what? We'll get a DT6 in the Root Beer. That should finish her up tonight. Um... All right, we're going to jump on to the normal scene. I think that's going to be the end of our tackle warehouse uh, shopping tonight. Dude, I think you guys picked out some awesome stuff. Um, I might add to it. I don't know. Yeah, no one mentioned fin fishing line. That's pretty crazy. That apple good, Nils? You want to tell the people what kind of apples you like? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so I think that's the end of the TW. We got 504 beers. Let's talk some fishing, guys. Uh, let's, we'll review what we got coming on Tackle Warehouse uh, right now. Um, We've got a lot of stuff. Z-Man, Baby Goat, Mag, Speed Crawl, Mag, Wag, Plum Worm, one Black Label Wreck, a Tatula 100, another Black Label Gizzard, a Clay Bait Water Bowl, <coughs> Top Water, Mega Bass, Smithwick, Jackal, Spinner Baits, you okay? Jackal. Don't be making yourself choke, okay? Um, Blade Walkers, yeah. So this order qualifies you for a Tackle Warehouse sticker. Sure, we'll add that free item to my order. Um, apples are good. This will, all right. I like that one. We're gonna uh, select size. What color TW shirt? Uh, we're going to go with the navy blue, even though I really don't like uh, Yeah, man. I know. All right, so I'll get that pushed through. I don't want to do it live on stream. I don't want to steal my information or anything. So I can't wait to do that unboxing. Uh, cool thing is with baits, you know, if you get stuff you don't like, you can just sell it. So The best winter bait, man. I... I'm gonna be honest. Winter bait is pretty synonymous right now with a rigging. So if I was gonna go fishing in the winter, I'm taking an a rig or I'm fishing a jerk bait. Uh, I like fishing a jerk bait in the winter and spring. Uh, I used to not be a really big jerk bait guy, but man, over the last seven eight years, I've really gotten into it quite a bit. But hard to beat an a rig, so. Austin Hicks, I gotta make a beer run. How long am I streaming? Uh, I don't know, maybe another hour or so. It could be quite a bit stream. I feel like the first part was all just shopping on Tackle uh, uh, Warehouse, so I'd love to just talk some baits with you guys. So, Hella Bass, thank you. Hey, somebody said they like your bow. You like your bow? You wanna tell them thank you? But you don't wanna say thank you though. You wanna stand up? Show them your pretty pants. No. No? You sure you don't want to go in there with mama? Oh, that's blue. It is blue. You don't want to go in there with mama? Blue and pink? You just want to eat your apple on the stream? Yeah. Yeah. That looks good too. So, do you ever throw spoons? Uh, yeah, I throw spoons quite a bit. Uh, I used to anyway. I like the Ben Parker Magnum spoon. I like the, the smaller Lake Fork style spoon. So, 
Ooh, hella bass. I did not get any bass tech jigs on TW. Should I? Before I check out. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Bass Tech. No, you to click on one. I'll do this for you, Hella Bass. I was about yeah. done. I saw a purple one. Oh, look. There's a purple one, Neely. There. Oh. You like that? Should we get it? Yeah. Okay, we'll get the purple one. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah. You like that one? Yeah. You like that one? Okay. I love my print one. That's why you built. Yeah. Yeah, it looks funny. Alright, I, I headed up, added that Bass Tech football jig in there, hella bass. So. Alright, somebody said, is Jacob Wheeler the best pro right now? I don't think you could argue he's not. He's definitely, he's on another level. Um, why don't you grab one of your boxes of baits and show what you have in them? Sure. Caleb, I don't. Hmm? Do you remember mommy was begging me? Yeah, you need to go in there with mommy? No? Alright. Let's, uh. Someone said go, go through boxes of baits. So. You wanna go through some baits, Neely? We'll go in my little square bill, uh, box here, real quick. And somebody's been asking me if I had any. Uh, black label stuff, and I actually do. What do you think about that? Yeah. I think this is the CB1 from Black Label. It, it, it's bigger. This is that Gizzard Shad full. I really like this color right here. Uh, problem with this camera is all the stuff um, that's white <clears throat> didn't show up. But really like this bait right here from Black Label Boss. So they sent me this about a year and a half, two years ago. I've thrown it a little bit in the pool. Great fall color. Uh, people ask me when I use these round versus a flat side. Um, if I'm wanting something with a little bit more thump and <laughs> vibration, that's when I go with the round ones. Traditionally, I like that in a little bit dirtier water, but I will throw this style right here in cleanish water. Now, the other one I like from Black Label. There's another one. What? Another one. Another, one. another what? Okay. Here's yeah, here's the smaller one. This yeah. is the really small one. I like oh, this right here. Really and that bluegill color, one. man. That thing right here will get some bites. So I really like the paint jobs on the black level bait. So you kind of know what you're getting when you spend the money with them. So I don't have any Vibration X one. lipless, uh, Caleb. That's another one. That's another one. Which one you like? This one? Yeah. Neely says she likes this one. This is the old Six Cents bluegill one. bait. Man, dude, those paint jobs are so good. So good. Neely's picked this one out of the box. And you know, I'm going to have a little bit of the juice of jaint uh, in the fall. The old jaint juice. Uh, that was a jaint juice. That's a jaint juice? Yeah. Let's see, gotta gotta try the Picasso Shock Blade Pro. It's a crazy bladed jig. I think that's a really good one. Uh, a lot of people hey, say uh, it's I as good as a jackhammer. What? A one. Oh, you want a purple one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Oh, Neely picked out a good one. One of my favorite fall square bills right here. Oh, if I can get you out. Look at this one, Neely. It's so pretty. Yeah, that was so pretty. Look here. There's a jackal Aska, baby. I think that's the Tennessee Shad, man. That is uh, that is one of my f favorite fall flat, flat side square bills. I've been used that one. I'm the world's worst at taking them off. But, man, if you can find any of these Askas in this color, they're worth some money. But, man, they catch fish. Got some teeth marks on this guy. He has been ate up a little bit. Shout out to my man BJ Barron. Check these out. Really like 
that bearings crank and that's in like that E1 uh, style bait need to throw some hooks on it uh, but uh, let's see what else I got in the fall most of all this stuff in this this box right here is pretty much all you know your 100 size square bills uh, I like the purples believe it or not I tell you what I need to load up on that one. which one this one? Yeah. Oh, this is a cool bait. Cool, good, good pick out, Neely. Can I get the bait out? Yeah, I'm getting the bait out. Neely picked this one out. So, a lot of guys ask me about Phil Hunt PH Customs. I do have a Phil Hunt bait. This is a PH. I forgot the model on it. So, if you guys know. But it's kind of wide. But it's also got some flat sides to it. Pretty cool bait. I've thrown this one around. Uh, I like the action on it. Uh, don't have many of Phil's stuff, but that's that's the only one. I don't like it pretty well. Good job, bait girl. Put this box up. We got too many travel hooks in there for you. What what else do you see? What do you want else want to look at, Neely? What's that one? Bubby's box? Yeah. You want to look at your brother's baits? Yeah. Oh, okay. Baby man, I think my wife got me a Fluger tie on for my birthday, Tron. Uh, why that one? I don't know. It is in count. Yeah, dude. Uh, Fluger stuff is pretty count. I want. I think she did pretty good. Uh, my wife would probably get me a Black Max from Walmart. Uh, is there a pal Shad Wrap size five shallow good for fall, dude? Shad wraps do work great in the fall. Shad, size five through seven can't go wrong with that. Uh, let's see. Sean, dice. disc knockers outstanding. Bought some 60 size and clean house. I do. I like the disc knocker. I like the TN uh, 70. That's a really good lipless. Rich, I remember online watching it's a bait shop you worked at and ordering all the Strike King Purple Freak Show square bills. Yeah, dude. Uh, I do got some Purple Freak Show square bills somewhere in here. Um, I hadn't put them in the box, I reckon. That's in uh, my box. Yeah? That's my Let's box. Let's see. Have you ever tied a feather on any square burrows? I have, especially on my weight baits. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, they told me to get one of these. I already had one. Uh, I've been fishing this. This is the... Uh, someone asked me about this Mega Bask. Uh, this is the ORC Burning Shad. This thing looks so good in the water. So in my pool, I've got this guy. Let's see, get that thing focused back in here, camera. Come on, camera, focus in. This ORC burning shad, man. This thing is awesome in my pool. It does have hooks, Neely. We have to be careful. Yep, we'll be careful. And then in the lake, I couldn't get it to really wake. It would dive like a foot and a half underwater. So I was kind of disappointed in that must be very sensitive to water temperature but it's got some cool features this little if you see this rattle chamber in the middle on this burning shad see right behind that little black spot right here behind it right there it goes back and forth so you get a good really good bait right there really sharp hooks it looks really good in the water uh, I just couldn't get it to wake as always, Mega Bass stuff is awesome. Where are you going, Nils? Oh, okay. That one right there is going to give me lots of problems in about five years. Just to let you know. Rick Bart's headed out tomorrow to throw the new D-Style Reserve Big. Awesome, dude. All right, Christmas Bay. So far, I know she got that real TW gift card and a three-month sub to six cents. Dude, uh... There might be some dudes on here that want to know if she's got any relatives. Just FYI. Sounds like your wife is awesome, Chris. Just like mine. Uh, what pound line were you using on with the weight weight? 14 pound mono, Caleb. And so that's why I was confused as why as it was sinking. Dude, I, I do think it's nasty saying just because I didn't catch anything on it. I think actually for cranking in like less than a two foot of water it's it's going to be the deal even if it's not waking i just love the noise of it coming through there 
12 pound copoly. All right, I'll remember that, uh, Sean. I've, I've got some pea line laying around here. Are you going to eat another apple? Yeah. Are you that hungry? Yeah. Can I have a bite? You can. That's my apple. It tastes real apple. I can have a bite. Learn here eating apples. This is her second apple. I, I feed this kid like 20 times a day. Yeah. You just eat and eat and eat, don't you? You love eating. I'm not eating the back side. Yeah. I've been streaming for like an hour and a half. We got anyway, we got five hundred and sixty two people watching. So I was so good. Alright, we gotta talk about some No, it's not smell. Hmm? Hmm? What's that smell? It's not you. No, it's not me, G poop. No. You sure you didn't poop? Mommy did. Mommy did? Okay. Favorite mono. So here's my mono I use all the time. I've shown this before. This is uh, the old Trilane Max. And one I, reason it's my favorite is because I have a 3,000 yard spool of it. But I've always had really good luck on this stuff right here, especially for top water. 14 pound. And I'll throw it on spinner baits uh, quite a bit too. <laughs> Neely. That hurts. Yeah, that hurts. That's why you don't be jumping and playing in that chair. That's yeah, that's why you sit down I in that chair. You, you okay, Nils? We just had an accident in the back room. Yeah, guys, if you will hit the like button, uh, don't hit the dislike button. Somebody hit that uh, Dad, dislike you, button quite a bit. So. Dad, you, All right, y'all want to see the flat side box? I've got several. I've got a bunch I can't get to that uh, came in as well, but this is my baby right here. This is probably my one of my favorite boxes uh, that I have. Oh, I just hit myself in the head. So we're gonna scoot that laptop up. Flat side box. Voila. Somebody mentioned uh, the Evergreen Combat Crank. Uh, there's the evergreen flat side right there. Now that is a JDM version. Whereas. Whereas here's the US version of that bait. There's a little bit of differences. Smells like the apple. Hey, smells like the apple. What smells like the apple? It smells like the apple. Apples do smell like apples. Mm hmm Anyway, y'all notice that the JDM version has a little smaller rounded lip and the butt. Whoops. Whoops. We've had a casualty. You gotta get that bait. Oh, we had a casualty. Alright. So I was trying to show you guys the JDM version of that evergreen. It's totally different. Assam Lukiji is hooked. Subscribe. Thank you, brother, for subscribing to the channel. Uh, JDM version is in my right hand, US in the left. Uh, you'll notice the tails are totally different on those baits. And the, this one has a little bit more kick. Uh, really crazy. Uh, but I like these flat side evergreens. Yeah, I had the tails. Dude, they need to make a 3700 box, but vertical storage like the 3600s. I agree. I like that. So, I have an idea uh, on these boxes. I don't want to put it on here. I don't want to get googan but my problem is, like, if you're moving around your stuff and you're, like, you grab three or four boxes, they all slide around and all that. I want to make a box where you can stack them on top and they lock together. So, if you're trying to take boxes out of your boat, you know, you've got a handful and they're all sliding everywhere, you can lock them in together, grab a handle. Not a tray like the lure lock thing, but a way to snap them. Yeah, it is a purple one. 
love this one. All right, here's a really cool one. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I know I did an unboxing. We're going to have hooks. We're going to have hooks. Yeah, there's lots of hooks. Be careful. This is a little bait. Uh, it's a wood bait. This is called a Stevie G. Uh, and it is a handmade bait. But, dude, look at this guy. Look at the flash off this. Got that full in there. I cannot wait to throw this little bait right here in the fall. Man, that was cool how the light worked really, really good right there. That was nasty. Woo. That's called a Stevie G. Really good looking uh, flat side. Very natural. Got a little round lip. I like that guy right there, man. Really good shad look. Look at his belly. Huh? Look at his belly. What about a belly? Okay. All right, you, Neely's going to pick out a flat side. Someone asked if I had any Rapala DT flats. So I'm just going to show you all the DT flats we got up in here. But I want my baby. Everything in this top row. DT flats, DT flats, DT flats. So I don't have many threes, but I got a ton of sevens. These are the hardest ones to get. Uh, these reds, the demons, the chartreuse purple. Um... But yeah, this is the flat side box. Uh, I actually need to probably make a second one. I want to put all my balsa flats in one box, but I don't know what I could get for this bait come about March. But I'm sure I could sell that demon for $25 or $40. Pretty easy. What? There are all kinds of baits. Those are flat side crankbaits. Oh, you found another one? Which one do you want to see? All right, great question, Charles Watts. What size of the Evergreen Shower Blow do you suggest? This one. This one? Yeah. That's the Jank Juice. I want the Jank Juice. Neely loves the Jank Juice, flat 75. This is probably one of the best Look production flat one. sides like out there. My, one of my favorite baits from Six Cents. Man, the Jank Juice is so good. This is like my bait. Oh, those are your baits? Yeah. Oh, really? Since when did those become your baits? Buddy's yeah. This is my bait. But... Yeah. All right, Nails. I gotta put these these back. Don't touch. Okay. I gotta show something off. All right. All right. So my man Charles Watts asked about this bait right here. This is one of my favorite top water baits. So my top spinner. Here's the deal. I don't keep my rods and reels in the bait room. I put them way out, and my room is not big enough to handle all rods i've almost broke a couple rods and stuff like that so um i gotta figure out i'm gonna have to either get a studio or something here if we're gonna average 500 to a thousand people every time i stream i'm gonna have to do something different i'm gonna unfortunately have to take uh, i think i'm gonna take all these baits off the pegs and put them in boxes other stuff totally rearrange this room but this is my favorite size in the evergreen shower blow uh, and i keep it really simple the SB125, and I love the bone color. But, man, y'all can hear how loud that thing is. Daddy, it has hooks. And these got really rare a couple years ago, and even last year it was it super hooks. hard to get a bone SB125. It, it does have hooks, Neely. Yeah, Good job. And I will be careful. Bone SB125, that's my favorite. And also, I do like the SB105 as well. Daddy, Tail. It does have a tail. It's a feathered one. Feathered. Yeah. She definitely dropped her apple on the ground. And you're still eating it? That's gross. Do you trust that there's no poop on my floor? Mm -mm. Thanks, Kevin S. Uh, yeah, seven inch. Uh, it is four and seven eighths. This is this is almost a five inch bait. Uh, the the shower ball SB one fifty is the biggest one. It's about six and a half, but that's my favorite right here. Uh, thank you for joining, Anthony. Appreciate you. Uh, hope you got enjoy the stream. Uh, we're up to six hundred twenty two viewers. I can keep going, but you got it, guys. I haven't had a specific topic all weekend. What? What'd you find in the floor? A bait man. Where is it? It's 
on the floor. We'll get it. Okay. Dude, Speedway there. is an awesome bait as well. Look. Oh, you found a pack of chunks. Yeah, that's a pack of junk. I love pack of junks. You love pack of junks? You're, you're not a pack of right. You found a bone tackle kick knocker. Dude, that, that's a that's a good find. All right, go show mommy. Dude, I love the gunfish. Um, Clay, I'll show you another. I know. I'll show you. Where is my tap, top water box? That's right here. Let me move a couple boxes so I don't have this thing dump on me. We've got to get a top order show done. Get my man Brent Anderson up on here. So this is my other color uh, shower blow. I really like clay. Uh, JT95 uh, is great. I actually like the bigger JT. Uh, I had an SP105 I like too, but I don't know what's happened to it. I must have gave it to somebody. Dude, I love that color right there. I think that's uh, American Shad or something like that. Maybe they're Sexy Shad. But I've had a lot of luck on that color right there. Um, especially um, as the water clears up. But I've caught some really good smallmouth on that color right there. That one and Bone, that's the two I throw the most. I come in. You're, you're going in? No, I'm coming in. You're coming in here? Yeah, I like these big, you know, walking baits. Oh There's the cane walker. There's two of them. Cane walker's there's good. two of them. Yep. That's how we hooked. And then there's the uh, Ama little yeah, stick. Oh Very underrated gosh, topwater bait right there. That's the Ama little stick. Not as loud it's as the shower blow. Totally different pitch, though. Got more rattle in it than a knock. But this bait's won a lot of money. Great bait here. Bye bye. Okay. Neely's, Neely's gonna leave us for a little bit. What's up, Tankster? Uh, love my six cent sack this month. I I, I do. For the money going, six cents super six snack is the way to go. Super six sack, except it's really hard to pronounce. I had to put the whippersnappers to bed. I'm back. Uh, what did we buy? Well, let's see. Uh, we can go back over on the split screen. Uh, here's what we got so far. Um, just, you actually, it's not bad if we took out the reel. We did really good. Uh, but we got... Neely, hold on just a second. All right, so we've got uh, we've got Tatula 100 casting reel. We've got several black label crank baits, a rat, top water baits, buzz bait, spinner baits. Jerk baits, weight baits, soft plastics, yes, and some new cranks from Rapala. A free decal and a shirt. I guess that puts me on the tackle warehouse pro staff. Right? I've got a TW sticker and shirt. That means I'm on pro staff. Hey, Bateman, thoughts on the new Lucky Craft Sammy 105 with three hooks? Uh, Dude, I love the Sammy. Uh, I probably should have threw one in that, to be honest with you. Really wanted to get a Sammy 105. You know what? You only live once. Let's throw a Sammy 105 in here. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's see. What color do you want me to pick out here, man? Hook sets are free. I think... I love my roar, but I like this color right here, believe it or not. I like that bone shad that looks nasty. That or the MSJ herring. 
Yeah, I'm going to go with that bone shed. Nine bucks for the Sammy 105. That looks like a deal. Throw that up in there. Order me a shirt. I'm getting a free one. And get me a free one, bud. Um, Kentucky Lake, three top waters I would throw right now. Um, Zara Spook, Bone. I would throw a Sammy 100, 128, 105. Evergreen Shower Blow. That's my top three. Um, I love the Vixen, the Dogma, all that stuff. The new Six Sense Catwalk's pretty nasty. I really like it. It's got to be pretty calm for that. So. Dude, that, that bone shed looks tight. Spitting Image, true underrated top water. That is a very good underrated top water bait, man. It's the Spitting Image show. Um, so, you guys got to let me know. When I get this order in, do you want me to unbox it on a live stream? Or do you want me just do like a Justin Royal style slash Debo's fishing unboxing? Um, that way I can just concentrate and and do that and maybe make a separate video i like doing them live that's cool too but i need to start doing non-live content as well so all right the guys have spoken live stream live stream um, the spit, uh, do you think the spook works better to wind? Yes, I think the spook is a lot better in chop and wind. And, uh, Brent Anderson would tell you for some reason that spook walks so much better than a lot of other baits. And I think it's the way it sits in the, uh, the water. So, dude, Debo is a great dude. I love watching his stuff. He has a great stuff. When am I going to do another fishing video? I got one. I need to upload or Caleb. Not up, I just need to edit. There's not a lot of fish catching, but I actually do some fishing, so. Dude, I have seen the depths MT wake, and I always forget about it when I'm making orders of stuff, so. Alright, so if you guys want the live stream unboxing, we'll do it, so. Alright, we've been streaming about an hour and 40 minutes. What's my go-to in a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind? This time of year, probably spinnerbait. An accent, half ounce, double willow, and probably blue glimmer is what I'm going to throw, especially if some there's some overcast. And uh, I'll let you know, two big red bass, a sleeper on windy days in the fall is a lipless. A chartreuse lipless can be really good. All right, there's a good question. Unbiased, who you got winning the SEC this year? Um, probably uh, Alabama. I hate to say it, but it's it's going to be really hard to beat Alabama. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I don't think Georgia is going to win the East. I think Florida or Tennessee will win the East. I think Georgia is very overrated. They have one returning person uh, on their offense. One. G George Pickens. Everybody else is new. They're out of quarterback. I think Georgia's very overhyped, and so is Kentucky. I don't think Kentucky's going to win more than three to four games. So, what's my favorite big square bill? Well, when you say big, I'm going to go with like a 4.0, and that's the six cents mini mag, uh, which is this guy right here. This is my favorite uh, big square bill. I, I like the action on it. It's got a lot of buoyancy. This is the sleeper shad, which is very similar to shad scales. Dude, these big square bills get eat around here, especially in the fall on some of those gravel bars, uh, big rocky points. Uh, same place you throw a big spinner bait and stuff. I, I like throwing these big square bills. Uh, the six cents uh, mini mag, that's my favorite, man. Their paint jobs are so good. Um, and then the KVD 4.0, I don't get too crazy, but I like the 4.0. Look how good that thing looks. Holy smokes. But I keep it pretty simple. Uh, I like the, the shad patterns. 
And then uh, I like the red in the spring. But that is my favorite big square bill right there. Georgia chokes football, baseball, the major goes on. What is everyone's absolute go to an absolute mud water? Four inches of visibility. I'm going to, if it's really, really muddy like that, uh, I'm going to go a double Colorado spinnerbait or a black and blue jig. And I'm going to fish it really slow. Maybe black and red, as long as it's black. All right, uh... Rick, if you come across a Lucky Craft Sammy 100 wood, grab it. Uh, I've been told to get them. There used to that guy in Draftonville, Rick. If you know what I'm talking, about, he used to have some. So, of course, he's dead now. Very unfortunate situation there. Uh, Clay, do you think the Covert is one of the top spinner baits on the market? Uh, I would say it's you know for a mass production spinner baits, it's one of the better ones. Uh, I think. So what happens, and this ain't a booty all thing, is um, a lot of these companies, they mass produce spinner baits, crankbaits, and once they get their price up over to what it would cost to get a handmade, they don't do real well. So, you know, the spot sticker spinner bait is like eight to nine dollars. The booty all covert is eight to nine bucks too. Unfortunately, people go, well, there's no way I'm paying eight dollars for a booty all. Well, it's got almost the same part to some of these high dollar handmaids. It's a great spinner bait. Um, but, you know, if Strike King came out with a $12 spinner bait, people would cuss them. It's just how it is. Um, what color was that, uh, Monty? That's called Sleeper Shad. It's very similar to Shad Scales. I actually might like it a little bit better than Shad Scales. If you want it, you got it. You just got to let me know. 670 people up in here man we've had uh almost 700 the last couple nights so dude i like the bds3 lucky craft gary that's one of my favorite square bills of all time is one of the first ones i really caught a lot of fish on they had a matte chartreuse and black bds3 dude that one slays dirtiest water love banging that thing off stumps man it catches some fish the moonsault 1.5 yeah that'd be pretty cool I know that the old moon salt cranks were really good, so. Dirty water, jackhammer. This guy's talking about mud. If it's just mud, I'm I, I'm gonna i I'm gonna fish tight to cover. I'm gonna fish a, a black and blue jig or even a tube. A tube is a really good bait in dirty water. Don't ask why. It smashes. Uh, in the spring, though, I'll throw a, is a double Colorado spinner bait like this right here in that mud. It's my boy Ryan Coleman over at Spot Sticker. He makes a really mean kicker blade. That's a, that's the Spot Sticker. That's the shad head. Look at that orange kicker blade on there. That cold squall style skirt, muddy water. That thing slays. Or I would actually take something like the Booyah Culvert with that single blade is going to have a lot of thump in that dirty water absolutely and you could even take it and do a nighttime spinnerbait you can throw something like this right here and actually jack them up in the mud that black on that black spinnerbait big colorado will catch them in the mud don't think that black and purple and all that the only time they works at night they work in dirty water really well and the guys up north to tell you they catch them on those black sink short arms in the daytime in in clear water so bait yang steaming pile uh rods yes man yes sir uh that was uh i hold true to that so you ever throw the I moved to Georgia two years ago from Alabama. No lie. First thing they showed me was the hammock maneuver, and they said, because everyone chokes here. Wow. Yeah, man. That, you know, they hadn't won a national title in like 50 years or something like that. So, Hank Snow Outdoors, what's up? Hank, what jerk bait would match up well with the Rapala original floater? Ooh, I would probably just go with a, a, a floating rogue. That's a really, really good one. But a lot of companies don't make those jerk baits that small. You know, the cool thing about the original floaters you could get like a four inch all the way up to a seven inch one 
Uh, but I would look at the Smithwick Floating Rogue, and I like that Floating Rogue. It catches them. So. I have not thrown the Hank Parker Classic Spinnerbait. Uh, and I'll be honest, Scott, five to ten fish is pretty good on one bait these days. Everybody's going with the thinner wires and all that stuff. It's just part of the game, uh, part of the fishing. Uh, we want to make baits so much better and everything, but we sacrifice some durabilities. But getting five to ten ba bass on one bait is pretty decent. So, Well, guys, 676 people. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, and smash the like button for me. It means a lot. So, Dude, they put a really good... On this culvert, man, they put a number five, which is a really good Hildebrandt. The Hildebrandt blades are very expensive. Great components uh, on the Booyah. So, ever tried Bassman spinnerbaits? Uh, no, I have not tried a Bassman spinnerbait. It's kind of got an old school vibe to it, which I like. Uh, I've seen it on Omnia. I've seen Carl uh, Jockum, Jackum, Jackoffson, whatever. I, Carl Jockinson uh, endorsed. Carl's cool dude, by the way. So, what I like about the covert spinnerbait is Jason Christie designed an interactive map helping you pick the best one to use. Oh, really? I like it because Jason Christie's a hammer. Jason Christie with the E, not the Y. Um, this Christian with the wise a good we, we're almost at 700 viewers Donna Buckner hooked and subscribe thank you Donna for uh, the subscription I like, the, I like the guy that comes up now. Um, I caught a 5 limb on spinnerbait fork this March, and the bait was junk out of the fish. Well, I'm not going to lie. If you're going to catch one, and it's over 5, that's a really, really good one. So, whoa, six six ninety seven 97 up in here. I'm getting bugs like crazy. That That's my other issue. We need the I Got Worm shirt, and I love beavers. Ooh, that's a good idea. I love beavers and have a... Uh, reaction innovations when are you going to do the bait room are you going to do the sound mats on the wall like flute master and help with the sound man i don't know i don't have flute master money um but i need to do it soon what i really need is to either have more shelving and have more boxes or i need to get one of those like nice dual shelves you can put in your garage and I, my my table i'm on is huge it's like a yard sale table uh, it's nothing fancy but it's so big if i want to grab something i can't walk around i need it like half the size so i can walk around uh and stuff like that P.O. Box, going to come Tuesday, Gary. Going to get that done. So, Big Red Bass, what is the National Professional Fishing League? I thought it was a made-up name until I Googled it. No, it's an actual league. Um, it uh, it's was formed by Paul Benson of Cash and Rods. Uh, Alan McCullough, I think. Um, and then... My guy, this really nice guy, Brad Fuller over at Omega Rods, just offering uh, something different. Tim Evans, I did see Craig Smallmouth. That's a good one, man. Really good one. So, my thoughts on Fat Cat Newton. Newton. And Luke Duncan, great, 700 viewers, just smash it, thanks guys, boom. So my thoughts on Fat Cat, uh, I like Fat Cat, he's been a cool dude, I think he's going to crush it, 
Uh, and same with Luke Duncan. Um, both good guys. Um, my only issue, and, and it's okay to be critical. We were critical about Major League Fishing. Um, we were critical about bass. My only issue is I want this thing to succeed and wish everybody the best. But who who's fishing? Other than Sheldon Collins, who's fishing? Sheldon's a hammer. Who 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 are the other guys? Wh who are the other guys? I mean, five thousand dollar entry fee, and most of the guys are I've never heard of them. Don't mean anything bad. Actually, I know another guy uh, in Texas, Billy Klein. He's a hammer. He's a great dude. But I feel like there's just so many local pros. There's not a lot of. I'm just looking at this as a business sense. If I'm a if I'm a paying sponsor, why do I want to sponsor your league? That it's got people. There's nobody that I'm attracted to. Like, and that's uh, at the end of the day, you got to make money. But you know they they're obviously smarter business men, men than me, possibly. So uh, they know what's going on. So. I, I'm afraid of what we got is we've got several guys that are going to be great fishermen. Absolutely. I know they've reached out to some people that I know. Um, but I'm afraid what we're going to end up with is a field full of fishermen that just got the money to fish. And that's kind of what FLW used to be. And I don't, so I don't want it to be a s small field of old FLW anglers. So, yeah, dude, I don't have $5,000. I don't gamble every day. So, Big man, you never mentioned Falcon rods. Uh, Falcon used to make really, really good rods. One of my big reasons I liked Falcon rods is they were made in the United States. They're now made in China, unfortunately. And I really like the sales lady at Falcon rods. Uh, she was awesome, but um, I believe her name was Kim Cherry. But um, they're now made in China, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but it was it was a good selling point in retail. So hey, there's stuff of hey uh, stuff made in America. So hella bass. That's kind of what I'm seeing. A uh, handful of guys going to take everyone's money. Does that ever happen? That actually is happening on the FLW. Look at John Cox. He's and uh, Jacob Wheeler. They're taking everybody's man. Handful of guys. That can happen on every level, but. I wish the NFL PL the best. I can't wait to listen to Luke and Fat Cat. I think they'll do a really good job. Um, but I'm just going to be honest. I don't think it's going to go very well. I hope it does. I hope it does. They don't they haven't put out a list of lakes or anything. It's going to be close to 2021 very soon. They're going to do two in the spring, two in the mid, and the other way. But, you know how many people said MLF won't last a year? It's still going. People said bass wasn't going to make it. Everybody's left. Bass isn't going to work. It's just going to fail. Dude, bass is going awesome. So, people are going to watch fishing regardless. People are going to spend stupid money to fish tournaments. Uh, they like to gamble. So, uh, Kitek. I don't know about Kitek releasing any spinner baits. I've heard they've got something going. I'll be interested, so... Marcus Christopher, what's a good rod made in the USA? That's a really good question. G. Loomis is made in the United States. Uh, St. Croix is made in the United States as well, and so is Kistler. Um, Cash and Rods is made in the United States. All four of those are really, really good. Falcon does make great rods. Um, even though they are made in China, I'm not going to hate on them. That was a good selling point. Um, I like the low rider series and the Karas are nasty. And uh, for a hundred bucks, the Bukus used to be really, really good. But I love, I like the Loomis for American Rod. That's the deal. So, all right, first ever event I think they announced is it you fall in Alabama? That'd be a good one. Halabash should be some some good uh, fishing. Dude, you remember what was the old uh, Falcon Rod Lizard Dragger? Man, the old Falcon Lizard Dragger was amazing. So, yep, North Fork Composites made in the USA. So is Lama Glass. Um, Dobbins is not made in the United States. All the rods are designed by Gary. Uh, they are made in China, though. Mega Bass not made in the United States. 
uh, either. Dobbins either China or Korea. Um, the problem is you just you know they've got us the, got a bottle of balls. Everything is a lot cheaper to build overseas, and it takes a lot of money to invest in building your own uh, blanks and stuff. Another good one, uh, by the way, uh, Gary. Um, uh, Billy Kistler's company, Pride Rods, those are really nice too. And they are made in the United States. Uh, Billy Kistler is a great rod designer, uh, and he uses uh, Loomis Blanks, um, I believe. Whatever, uh, what's Gary Loomis's company? Uh, North Fork Composites. He uses their blanks. So, best rod for half ounce trap. Broke my second hand flat side special today. Woo! Um, uh oh, straight bass, homie. Steve Miller, $25 make you holla. Steve, I appreciate that $25 dono tonight. Um, I guess we're going to have to add, an, add another bait uh, to our cart here. What was it I said earlier I wanted to add? Somebody remind me. Guy has an old lizard dragon for sale, 80 bucks and good connection. Those were really, really good rods, man. I love that. Uh, let's see. Man. This is what we got up in that lipless cranks over here. Let's see what we got over here. Team Arc. Why do I feel like Arc Rods is basically making Jinko baits? Everybody wants to get on the baits. All these rod companies, they want to do baits. Uh, who was it that said something about the Spro? Yes. Whoa, look at that. Look at this guy. Look at that. I think bait, bait girl would like that one. That's pretty cool. Where's that Spro Wakuma Wakamu? Spro. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is one I don't have. I've been wanting to check out. Oh, yeah. Purple Rain. Yeah, I got you. I got you. There's just a new bait up in there. So, uh, Steve, I appreciate that uh, dono. Uh, Daiwa Tatua Glass 7 Foot Heavy is damn good. Yes, that's a really good one, Sean Z. I like, I've got the 7.4 Big Top Water uh, Bladed Jig Rod. Dude, for a half ounce trap, it's nasty. That's pretty much what I throw. I'd like to get a second one of those rods. I need to before everything I like is going to get discontinued. So, um, but. I, I like some about seven six. Uh, my buddy, I've got a friend that loves throwing a Dobbins eight oh five for a trap, but I personally like some seven four to seven six, kind of in that medium uh, range. Now for a flat side, I like stuff flat side crank. I like a six ten to seven foot medium to medium light. That's that's kind of my favorite. I do use a LV five hundred, sure do. Demicky Tremors. Hmm. I do got to resist the urge to add to cart. Got to do it. So, that gum, guys. 726 people on here. We've been at it for two hours. If you want me to keep going, you're going to have to let me refill my cup. You're going to let me refill my cup. I'll keep going. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I'm back. We got more beers now than when I was here. Oh. Woo. We can play some hella bass vids during intermission. Are we going to do 900? You know what? I might as well do it. Let, let's call. Let's see if we can get a thousand up on the Bateman stream tonight. Let's see if we can do it. We're at 734. We only got two, 270 more people. Um, we get a thousand, and uh, I'll give something away. What if I gave away the tackle warehouse order I just made? What do you think about that? I don't think we will, but I'm going to put together a giant giveaway. We're going to have some six cents hard baits. We're going to have some net bait in there. We're going to throw some ignite swim baits in there. It's going to be it's going to be nice. Fifteen thousand, huge giveaway coming. Huge. I said huge. The biggest giveaway, biggest giveaway you've seen. It's going to be huge. Fifteen thousand. So. I'm trying to see here. Um, it's only eight on the west coast. We'll keep going. Oh man, we're dropping. We gotta get up to a thousand. Make sure you like, um, share if you want to. If we don't get a thousand, no big deal. It's about to get right, Vaughn. These cool nights are gonna make them start to transition. I am ready for. Um, Chris Arnold, great question. What's the best place to get net bait? Uh, I'm going to uh, AmericanBaitWorks.com. Um, there's several discount codes out there, but great people. Uh, American Bait Works has the best price, and they are who makes um, um, net bait. Trump the bait man. Yeah, uh, no offense to Donald Trump, but I have better hair than he does. I don't quite look as orange. Um, I'll make fun of all. I'll make fun of Donald Trump, and then I'll turn around. I'll make fun of Joe Biden. So, uh, you know, that's that that thing we call it. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? That thing. Um, that that thing. You know the thing. Um, anyway, I caught a big snapping turtle today on a ringworm, dude. I caught a giant snapping turtle on a spinner bait. Um, I guess it was early this spring. I was filming with Mark Menendez. And long story short, ooh, uh, I said, man, I got one more, and it was a giant snapping turtle. And he said, I've never seen that on a snapping turtle or spinnerbait. You're special. So, uh, Charles, I do not have any of the Big Bite Baits BFE. I did get some of the new DT colors. Uh, gosh dang. Well, BFE is only four bucks. All right, let's pick out. Let's, let's pick out uh, which color BFE uh, we want to have here. See, where I'm from, you say, man, I'm going to pick up my buddy. He lives out in BFE, which stands for Bum Effing Egypt. There's the BTL color. Very close to that new Missile Bates color. Uh, doesn't have any red flake in it. Black bedlam, which is a black red kind of. This is I like this color right here. June bug candy. Hematoma, that's a good one. I like that one. I like that one. That's what I'm gonna go. We'll we'll throw a BFE in hematoma in there. Pangrac, if you're watching, I just did that for you, buddy. Um, let's see. That would be a cool shirt uh, that said, you know, the thing, bass, yeah, the bass. You know, trying to catch the, you know, uh, that thing, the, uh, yeah, the bass. Pearl, are you talking about the pearl with chartreuse tails? Bob Fish Nut. 
they're probably just in limited supply you know it's a special run color they don't put them out all the time so <clears throat> does netbait make anything other than the packet chunk and table rock red sure do matter of fact we'll get on trusty tackle warehouse and i'll show you what's made in table rock red Well, huh, maybe not. I'm pretty sure uh, the C-Mac you can get in Table Rock, or I just bought some. Maybe that color's been discontinued. See if it's in the net bait finesse worm. Nope. By the way, net bait finesse worms are good, so... So if you didn't know, Netbait still has the contour worm, which is very similar to contour worm comes smaller, very similar to the flex worm, but there's a different tail on the contour. Flex worm's nasty, but um. all right here, Demiki. Air crawl, really good bait. The Mickey Rambler is a good replacement for a Vixen. A lot of people don't realize that. So here's the only thing about Tackle Warehouse: their cameras are so good, and and they back a lot of them. Sometimes you will be fooled. The photos don't look nothing like the actual soft plastic. The BFE is like two baits in one. Leave it stock or subtle, where you can slip the tail and make it flap. Absolutely. Yeah, just get some pearls. I mean, that's what I would do, Bob. I just get me some pearls. I dip my tail chartreuse. Um, how do I like the Shimano SLX XT? Uh, it's a really good uh, reel. I like that. Good name, Waffle B. Uh, I like the Shimano SLX. I would say my top three budget reels are the SLX, the Luz LFS, and the, the Dial Tatua CT. Does any other company make a color like the Cola color from Japan? That's kind of like a brownish, like a sweet potato color. Let me look on that. <clears throat> Let me look it up here. See what I can think. Uh, it's a really good bait. The yam yummy fish. The, they got a red cola. It's kind of a scupper nong. Uh, so if you're looking for a cola color, I would look at something that's like uh, scooper nong. Well, I don't think their camera's bad, Chris. It's actually so good. It just picks up all the light. What's up, Cody Higgins? We're in here, bud. Thanks for joining in. Um, no, I'm not going to be removing the reel. That's not happening. Not happening. The new DT color, Big Shad, has a black belly and looks nothing like the pick. Yeah, it actually, it's more chromish from what I'm told. I've seen some actual pictures of them. Um... The guys have got, and it's got more silver to it. Whereas the stock photography, it looks white. Dude, Tatula is a nasty, nasty reel. So I love the Tatulas. I, you know, I like Shimano. Always did like uh, Shimano, but the Tatula is, is the deal. So. Do nickel rig, it, it's good. Bateman, do you like six inch curly tails with thick rings? Uh, I've thrown uh, the Lucky Strike ringworm in a seven inch. Uh, I've thrown the Lake Fork, the smaller one, in the dead ringer. They're good. Probably not going to pick them up first thing, but they are good. Ooh, Nate Swan, great. Good cranks in the 3XD size that are not Strike King. Uh, Bandit 300. Uh, is really really good and the six cents curve 55 is excellent 
the Teco Drunker. Uh, those are really good. Um, Bomber Fat Free Guppy. Fat Free Guppy is really, really good. I want to put them on my Dobbins Fury spinning rod for drop shot. Uh, yes, yeah, Shimano Sayana is really good. I'll be honest, the Shimano Noski is really, really good. The Six Cents uh, Cloud. I'll see if I got one up here. I may not. They make a the Cloud Nine Six instead of the the C Six is a really good bait. But I'm a Bandit guy. Uh, I'll be honest. This I like a Strike King Series Three better than I like a Three XD. Uh, I think it's got a lot better action. Uh, it gets down there a little bit quicker as well. I'm in Arizona, mostly kayak fish areas free of Lake Lahas. You know, I didn't think, uh, James, I would be a fan of the T-Wing, and uh, man, I absolutely love it. I think you get more casting distance on T-Wing. The only area I think the T-Wing does not excel at is braided line. Uh, I think the guppy might have been. I've got some that aren't. A uh, fat-free fingerling is might be a little bit bigger. It's almost in that Bandit 300 size. So. Bateman, there's still some trash fish on TW. Dude, I got enough trash fish to last quite a while. Yes, the Revros is badass. 50 bucks. All right, guys. I've been on here for two hours and 15 minutes. I've got to get some family time going on. Uh, I'm going to get this TW order placed. Hopefully, uh, it's all in. Hopefully, uh, all that stuff is in. And... Uh, I'm going to jump off here. We've got 700 and uh, I got the dark sleeper, Chris. We've got 733 people in. If you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that button. Um, going to jump off here. I don't know when I'll stream again. If you guys want me to do uh, live streams during the day, I'll resume that as well. Uh, been an awesome weekend. Thank you guys all for joining me all three nights. I'll pull through all three nights. And uh, we'll stream again next Saturday. I'm gonna get Alex Rudd on here. Uh, if I get uh, if I get this TW order before Friday, I'll stream me unboxing it. So uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for helping out. I never feel like you have to contribute money to the the stream. Those who did, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, there's going to be some cool things coming from this channel. I've got to get some other stuff tied locked down but uh you guys that been want me to do youtube full time it may be happening so thank you guys so much uh go be with your family enjoy lake